Welcome back to our channel, and today we have some interesting news from the world of cryptocurrency. The Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) has recently made a decision regarding the launch of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds (ETFs) that has sent shockwaves through the market. Let's dive into the details. According to sources familiar with the matter, the SEC has deemed the recent wave of applications filed by asset managers to launch spot Bitcoin ETFs as inadequate. The agency specifically informed exchanges NASDAQ and CBOE Global Markets, which filed the applications on behalf of asset managers including BlackRock and Fidelity Investments, that the filings lacked clarity and comprehensiveness. However, there is still hope for these applications. The exchanges and asset managers have the opportunity to update the filings and address the feedback provided by the regulator. They can then refile the applications, restarting the process. The news of BlackRock's plans for an ETF that holds actual Bitcoin caused prices of Bitcoin and crypto-related stocks to surge since mid-June. Bitcoin itself has climbed about 20%, surpassing the $30,000 mark for the first time since April. Coinbase Global, listed as the custodian for the BlackRock Fund's holdings, saw its shares soar more than 30% over the same period. Despite the initial excitement, the value of Bitcoin dropped by 5% after the Wall Street Journal first reported the Securities and Exchange Commission decision. However, it has since experienced a slight rebound. Following in BlackRock's footsteps, a wave of traditional and crypto asset managers, including Fidelity Investments, ARK Investment Management, Invesco, WisdomTree, Bitwise Asset Management, and Valkyrie, have reactivated or amended their applications for spot Bitcoin ETFs in recent days. The approval of an ETF that tracks the actual price of Bitcoin would be a significant milestone for the industry, as it would provide wider access to the cryptocurrency. Investors would be able to buy and sell Bitcoin through a brokerage account, similar to trading shares of stock. However, the SEC has consistently rejected such funds since 2017 due to concerns about fraud and market manipulation. Currently, there are already several ETFs on the market that own Bitcoin futures. Nevertheless, investors and analysts saw BlackRock's bid as the best chance yet for a spot Bitcoin ETF, given the firm's success in navigating regulatory applications in the past. Some industry watchers even predicted that BlackRock's filing would address the SEC concerns by including a surveillance sharing agreement with NASDAQ, the exchange that would list the ETF. Fidelity and ARK also included similar language with the CBOE, which would list their ETFs. However, it seems the SEC was not satisfied with the filings. The exchanges were informed that the applications were returned because they did not name the specific spot Bitcoin exchange with which they are expected to have a surveillance sharing agreement, nor did they provide sufficient information about the details of those surveillance arrangements. This decision by the SEC means that the exchanges and asset managers will have to update and refile their applications, effectively resetting the timeline. This setback will delay asset managers in their race to launch the first spot Bitcoin ETF by at least seven days. Once an application is resubmitted, the SEC has 15 days to solicit public commentary on the filing. During this period, the SEC can return the filing to the asset managers by the seventh day. After the 15-day period, the SEC has up to 240 days to approve or reject the filing. And that wraps up our discussion on the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) recently making a decision regarding the launch of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds (ETFs). Make sure to subscribe for more updates in the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.